Hi, this video we're going to be talking about moment in three dimensional. Let's do a quick review. Uh, for moment in two dimensional, we're talking about a formula called uh, force times moment of arm, right? And moment of arm is perpendic perpendicular distance from rotational point to the force. So knowing that, it's going to be hard to do that in 3D, right? Imagine, you just think about it. If you have a force in 3D and you have a rotational point, if you were to draw a perpendicular distance, sure, that's easy to do. But to measure that distance, to measure that moment of arm, it's quite uh, tricky. So there's a way to get around it. That's why we're talking about in this video. For that situation, for 3D time moment, there is a better way to do which is this moment is going to be equal to r position vector cross product this force. And what's position vector? It's defined by initial point to the ending point, right? So this position vector is going to be from rotational point to any point on the line of the force to any point on the line of the force. So this is very uh, interesting because with that any. So arbitrarily, if I can touch any point on the force, I'm going to get the same, same results. And so here is how, what we're going to do, uh, prove it, and we're going to look at the basic of it. So here you have a force F right here. And the rotational point is O. So we're solving this force rotating by O, the moment. And based on this definition, new definition, is position vector cross F. And this position vector is going to be if I were touching this point, which is on the force, right? So that's going to be from O to that point and has an arrow. That's going to be if we call R1. Let's, let's say this one. Let's do a quick review about A cross B for cross product. It is a vector and the magnitude is A times B times what? For cross product, it's going to be times sine theta. So theta is the acute angle between those two vectors. So for those two vectors, R1 and F, the angle between them is going to be this angle theta 1. So if we were to use this definition, we get rid of hat. So we just have the magnitude r1 times f and then times sine theta. Let's think about it. f times r1 times sine theta. Let's call sine theta 1, yeah. So if you were to draw a right triangle right here, well, look at this right triangle. R1 is your hypotenuse. Theta 1 is this angle. So R1, hypotenuse times saying theta 1, is going to give us this distance, right? This distance right here. That's going to be equal to F times D. And do you realize D? D is from O, rotational point, a perpendicular distance to this force. And that's our moment of arm. Isn't that interesting? So what you just conclude from this example is this new equation for moment in 3D, R cross F, will actually verify this first equation when we learned force times moment of arm because this is exactly the same. And here you realize if you choose arbitrary point to create this position vector, you get, get the correct results. Let's look at a few more. If I'm solving this again, R cross F, this new definition. And this time, I'm going to looking at R2. We are going to, this is our position vector from rotational point to any point on the force right there. And this is our force F. So what do we have? It's going to be R2 cross F 
and that will be R2 times F. Then again, it's sine. Now this angle here is going to be the angle between those two vector. We call theta 2. What is our R2 times sine theta 2? If we were looking at this triangle, if we were to draw a triangle right there, R2 is hypotenuse times sine theta 2. Again, that's times, it's equal to D. D is perpendicular distance from rotational point to the force. That's our moment of arm. Is that something? So what you have just verified is, no matter where I touch, if I touch this point or that point, where I create different position vector, I'm going to get the same results right here. You could do the same thing for the last one. And here, this position vector, we're going to use R3. Why not, right? So this is R3. Because this point is on the line of the force. So go ahead, uh, get better. So this is going to be our R3. And then the angle between this force and the position vector is theta 3 here. So if we were using definition of cross product, it's going to be sine theta 3 for this situation. And what is our R3 times sine theta 3? I think you already know, right? If we were to draw this triangle right here, right triangle, R3 times theta 3, it's going to be exactly equal to this distance, D, F times D. D, again, is moment of R. So all the three, any random points, you proved it. This R cross F equation works. Now we're going to do one last one. If you happen to draw that is perpendicular, using a position vector that is happened to be perpendicular to this force. So that's if we call R4, position vector R4. So it's R4 cross F. Then we solve this, F times R4, and then times sine theta 4. And our theta 4 here is our 90 degree. So what is sine 90? Sine 90 is 1, so you have F times R4. And look at R4. R4 is basically the perpendicular distance. That's your moment of R. So no matter where you draw this position vector, as long as it's from rotational point to any point on the line of force, you will get a solid correct answer. So that is 3D moment. And that will help us using this technique for the future problem because we can find this position vector easy in three dimension. And we also know how to solve the cross product. Pre uh, review the video I just did, uh, previously did on those cross product and the scalar product. All right, so that's all. I'll see you next time. Bye.